Welcome to searchandanalysis.com. In today's video, I will talk about the moderation analysis. Before proceeding the analysis in SPSS, I guess you should know about the difference between mediating and moderating variables. A mediating variable explains the relationship between the independent and dependent variables. It explains how or why there is a relationship between independent and dependent variables. In simple word, we can say a mediator explains the potential mechanism through which independent variable influence dependent variable. On the other hand, when we talk about moderate moderation, a moderator is a variable that affects the relationship between independent and dependent variable. In simple word, we can say a moderator actually uh, affects the strength of the relationship between two variables. In today's video, I will specifically tell you how to run the moderation analysis according to Baron and Kenny method, or which is also and known as traditional method to uh, to run the moderation analysis. If you are new to moderation analysis, I would really recommend you to read this article. Uh, moderator mediator variable distinction in social psychological research conceptual strategic and statistical consideration if you need this article you can write uh, your email addresses in the comment of the video or alternatively you can also download this article from Google Scholar in this slide we have two models one is conceptual model and other one is statistical model conceptual model is representing and uh, the way you actually draw theoretical framework if you have one independent dependent variable and there is a moderator and you can see in this picture x is representing independent variable while we have y as dependent variable and w is representing the um, moderating variable so this is how you can actually draw your theoretical framework regarding the moderation. And then we have statistical model. Uh, here you can see we have three variable, three predictors of dependent variable. First one is x. X is representing dependent var independent variable. Then we have w, moderating a variable. And then we have an interaction term of x and w. So this is how actually you run the moderation analysis in SPSS. The model which we are going to test, uh, we have three variables, transformational leadership, psychological well-being, and we have a moderator of organizational commitment. So here TL is representing transform transformational leadership and PW stands for psychological well-being and we have OC organizational commitment as a moderator between TL and PWB. So and then so in statistical model you can see that this is how we will calculate or we can we will run the moderation analysis. Uh, we need to find all these three relationships. The impact of TL on PWB, impact of moderator OC on PWB, and finally, the impact of interaction term on PWB, on psychological well-being. So, uh, let's proceed the analysis. In this video, I will calculate the moderating impact, or you can say the impact of moderation uh, in the relationship between TL and PWB but in the next video I will do the moderation analysis using if you are new to this channel please remember to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon so that you will get the notification of our every new videos
So this is the data we have. First of all, demographic variables, and we have transformation leadership, items related to psychological well-being, and then finally we have items related to organizational commitment. <clears throat> In order to proceed the analysis, we need to have the averages of these three variables. So let first uh, calculate the averages. What we will do just go to transform compute variable reset and let's start with TL. Since we have seven items, so we will divide by seven. So, uh, average of transformation leadership have been created. Next, we will proceed it again. Compute variable. And now we will calculate the average of PWB. Since we have eight items of psychological well-being, so we need to divide it by eight. So second variable have been created. Again, we will go to transform, compute variable, reset. And now we need to find out the average of organizational commitment variable items. And we have six items, so divided by six. So you can see now we have the averages of transformational leadership, psychological well-being, and organizational commitment. So we are ready to proceed with moderation analysis. So for this purpose, we will need to go to analyze. Then regression this is how we actually run the regression it's just the same process so here we will put since our dependent variable pwb psychological well-being so we will put sorry it's not that and we have this one and in independent variable we have transformational leadership while running the analysis, we actually uh, put our mod moderating variable in the same independent box. Sorry, I just forget to calculate the interaction term because we also need to have interaction term for moderating uh, analysis. So let's just calculate. First, we will need to calculate the interaction term. Again, go transform, go to compute variable, reset. We need to have the interaction term. So this is how you can calculate the interaction term. Maybe you can just TL and OC. Since TL is our dependent variable, independent variable, and OC is our moderating variable. So we can just select TL and then multiply with organizational commitment and yes now we have the interaction term now we can proceed with moderation analysis analyze regression and then linear regression and now we will need to put PWB here then transformational leadership OC our moderating variable and here just click the next and put your moderating uh, variable not moderating it's actually the interaction term of tl and oc 
put it over here and from the starter specs yes just click r square chain because we need to mention these values in our tables all right modify it do not okay yes it's all right we are we can just click okay so this is the output we have first we will look we will be interested to see if there is any change in r square and here unfortunately you can see r square change is zero that's quite alarming so next thing we will be interested in in the beta values let's first look the impact of tl on pwb it is significant then the impact of moderating variable on pwb it is also significant and then in second model we will be interested to see if our interaction term is is significant or not and you can see here the beta value is zero almost zero and the significant it is insignificant so here you can see the its results are showing that the organizational commitment is not actually moderating the relationship between uh, our independent variable transformation leadership and dependent variable pwb so our moderating hypothesis is rejected so i hope you have understand the concept of uh, moderation and how to run it in SPSS. If you will have any further question regarding the moderation, you can write in the comments of the video. In next up upcoming video, I will cover how to run the moderation analysis through process macro. So keep subscribing and watching my channel. Thanks you very much. Have a good day.